Hi, today we'll show you how to apply wallpaper or self-adhesive wall mural available in our store. We will present the way that works best for us, but remember that it does not have to be this one only. Before we start, make sure that the wall is dry, clean, decreased and as smooth as possible. No scratches or holes. However, if there are small defects on the wall, you can fill them with a plaster. We recommend a ready-made repair putty. Looks like we're ready. Quick reminder, in our store you can also buy all the necessary accessories for wallpapering. We start by checking whether the ordered wall mural has no defects. To do this, unfold the first part of the roll and cut it off in a designated place, preferably with a technical knife, a pad and a spirit level. Then unfold the next part next to the first and make sure that they form a uniform pattern. Using a tape measure and a pencil, we mark the width of 49 cm, which corresponds to the width of our roll or self-adhesive wallpaper. Sticking the first strip is very important, because it is the one that determines the vertical for the entire wallpaper. Therefore, you need to be extra careful at this stage. The next step is to prepare the first part of the wallpaper for application on the wall. Piece of cake. All you need to do is cut off the upper part of the material in the designated place. We start sticking it from the top. In case our calculations turn out to be not entirely precise, it is worth leaving 1cm spare to make adjustments easy. If necessary, we will remove it after the work is completed. Time to stick the wallpaper on the wall. At this stage, an additional pair of hands might be useful as we have to stick the adhesive layer on the wall and unfold the protective material on the underside at the same time. The pattern should be glued slowly and carefully, removing any air bubbles and folds with a squeegee or a brush. When the first strip sticks to the wall with its entire length, use a wallpaper brush to gently smooth the surface, removing unevenness and air bubbles. The direction should be middle to the outside. Start halfway up and then center down. Okay. The first strap is already on the wall, so we start assembling the rest, which we do in the same way. Remember to precisely match the pattern to the adjacent strip of a wallpaper. If you make a mistake when matching the patterns, you can gently peel off the wallpaper strip and stick it back in the right place. At the final stage of work, we cut off the reserve of wallpaper on the sides, as well as on the floor and ceiling. The entire wall mural should be smoothed once more with a sponge roller to make sure that the surface will be perfectly smooth after drying. Well done! How did it go? Let us know in the comments.